Hey guys and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be making a retro looking snake game in Java and as you guys can see we have a snake right here and we have something that looks like food for the snake and we have the score and the length of the snake. So if you move, if you move, the snake also moves left, up, right, down, left and if the snake eats the food, the snake increases in its length and it keeps growing and growing and if it eats itself the game resets so let's learn how to program this okay um, I'm gonna use um, Eclipse IDE for this but you guys can use any other IDE um, I'm gonna make a new Java project and I'm gonna name it my snake game okay now uh, you want to go over to your source directory and make a new class. Uh, I'm going to name the class as frame and make sure it, uh, it has your main method. Why I named it as frame is I'm going to have one class that is the frame or the window you can say window of the game and I'm going to have another class that just defines the whole game itself and you know draws the whole game itself. Um, yeah, we'll get back to that more in a second. So in my frame class, I'm going to first make the window for this game, right? Okay, uh, how I'm going to make the window for this game is I'm going to use the class JFrame and I'm going to make an object for it. I'm going to say frame to new JFrame and I'm going to uh, first you got to import JFrame. So if you hover over this, you can import. Yeah, so you can add attributes to your window now so you, you first you gotta set bounds for your window the first two uh, integers are coordinates for where your window should appear in your screen so it doesn't really matter as you can move around the window but first for now I'm gonna say 10 10 and um, next two coordinates are gonna be how wide you want your window to be and how tall you want your window to be uh, I'm gonna give it the coordinates 915 by 700 and um, I recommend you guys to do the same as uh, because we have this Im we have images over here where um, if you you know keep give more width or give more height it will just look weird and it'll be distorted and actually the game uh, mainly relies on how wide your pixels are and it it deals with your pixels so we'll get back to that more in a while so uh, this is going to be how wide and tall your window is going to be and we're going to give it some more attributes right now where it's not going to be resizable so the user cannot you know resize the window we're gonna give it a um, we're gonna give it a close operation where so if, so if the user closes the window the game stops so um, we're gonna say jframe.exit on close let's give it a background set one second set background and let's give it a color of dark gray and we got uh, the frame should be visible so we're gonna say frame dot set visible true okay and if we run this we get a f fairly plain looking frame j frame or you can say window where we're gonna put stuff inside of this window basically we're gonna put our game inside of this window so after you've made your window we have to make a canvas where we can draw stuff so a canvas in java is j panel so I'm gonna again go to your source directly and make a new class uh, I'm gonna name this console console and it's got to extend jpanel import jpanel from uh, the java swing module okay now uh, jpanel comes with its own predefined method called as um, paint where you can use this method to paint stuff in the pa panel 
so and it ha you, you can use you can do that by the class called uh, graphics so import graphics and you can do so like that okay now first what we want to do is judging from our game right here first we want to put the image over here right so uh, how we're gonna do that is we're gonna first we gotta create an image object so we're gonna make private image icon and we'll make it snake header image okay and we're gonna define that here okay first we gotta import snake Im image icon okay and now we gotta in in instantiate it um, snake header image equals to new image icon now I haven't um, put the pictures that we need for the game right here so uh, you guys can download these pictures in the link in the description so we're gonna copy and paste it into the uh, root of our package I'm gonna copy the files okay now the, uh, the this file is called um, snake title So this game, this this uh, image is called Snake Title, and we made an object for that. So we got to display this object. So how to do that is Snake Header. Oh, why did we put it such a big name? Okay, uh, dot paint icon. So first it's going to be your uh, context a parameter. Next it's going to be your uh, graphics, the tool that you're going to use to draw on the can canvas or panel. Uh, next is going to be your coordinates so let's give it the coordinates of 25 comma 10 now this is our panel we still haven't added a panel to our frame our frame which is this this is our frame so to do that we have to go here and we have to make a object of console console game to new and we got to add console to our frame so we basically added a panel over this empty window and inside of that panel we have an image so when we run it it looks something like this so we have our image right here now as we can see from our game right here we have a display looking like a box a rectangle box it looks like some display where we play our game so in order to do that it's nothing but it's nothing but a black rectangle on top of the panel so we have to draw that so to draw a black uh, display all we got to do is we got to use the again we got to use our graphics object so we got to write graphics dot um, set color first and we're gonna uh, give it set color dot black uh, we're gonna import color model first I'll, I'll leave a comment that says this is for display yeah so we we set the graphics color as black and we we draw a rectangle now uh, we don't now uh, we f we we do graphics dot fill if I can find it huh we do graphics dot fill rect and the, again the first two coordinates are going to be your position coordinates and the next two uh, integers are going to be how wide and how high it should be so the coordinate should be twenty five um, y should be seventy five. The width should be um, 850 because uh, why it's a the why it should be 850 is um, this header image right here is 850 pixels wide. So we want the width of the uh, display to be the same. So it has to be 850, and the height should be let's say. Um, let's say 575 
now if we run it there we go we have our header image right here and we have a display right here and we will basically load the game inside of this display and we can load the scores and whatnot in this side of the corner okay um so the window uh okay so i'm gonna pause i'm gonna stop the video right here i'm gonna make a part two of this continuing whatever i'm doing right now so um yeah uh, to continue watching the video please watch part two